Hello everyone, my name is Aletha Prime and welcome back to another episode of Primecraft. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for joining me. Okay, so today, well, first off, uh, what we did last week, well, last time, I don't know when this is going to come out. I'm trying not to spend two weeks to work on an episode, so we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> anyway, so uh, we worked on these last two train cars here. I'm pretty happy with how they turned out for the most part. There's some little details that I'll probably change around here and there, uh, but overall, it's pretty decent. I, I am going to get rid of this tree, though. Uh, so eventually, we're going to work around this area and fix it up a bit and build, especially build this area out and make it a little bit more livable, have more stuff. Yes, it's not going to be blank anymore, um, but I'm having trouble deciding exactly what I want to do today, so I think we are just going to go around and do some things. Uh, so some ideas that I have is I do want to make a bridge that kind of goes underneath the train as it crosses the river. It's kind of hard to see from right here, but it's like right, right there, right under the engine. So we're going to probably grab some blocks and build under there. <clears throat> uh, the other thing that I want to work on, <clears throat> excuse me, I apparently got skunk in my throat right now, uh, is this area right, well, these walkways down here. Um, it's a little bit of a mess. Um, I, I like it once you finally get out to this area or down here, it's all nice and at least filled in. Yeah, except for those, don't, don't look at those. Um, but all here, it's gray and stone and weird. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're going to try and fix some of that up. Um, I also realized that I forgot to do the ceiling in the cat room, so we are also going to do that um, in case we, in case you missed it, because I didn't really show it off last week very much. Uh, I have a little fountain with a little fish in there, so it's something for our, our cats to watch and enjoy. There used to be two in there, but apparently it doesn't like having two in there because one of them got pushed out and ended up becoming a cat treat. Yes, uh, I think we're going to end up blocking this area off as well, just at least putting a door here so that way if I do need to access it, I can, but we're not tempted to build in that direction towards the iron farm. And speaking of the iron farm, I am also very tired of taking this little pathway right here uh, down to the farm. And so we are going to fix that up. I think what I'm going to do is I am actually going to build a staircase down to a couple different levels and work on storage and eventually getting down to this iron farm as well, which is actually do still doing very nice. I'm still very, very, very happy with it. Let's go see how much iron we have. Down the stairs. Again, yeah, it's kind of a, a little... This tunnel is very small, so we're going to fix it up. Oh, I filled it out. I uh, took stuff out recently, but... Yes, we are doing quite well on iron blocks so far, and we're actually going to use some of those as decoration today, because why not? Oh, oh no, oh no, I have made a mistake. I have made a mistake. All hands on deck. All hands on deck. I, ah! Uh, I triggered a raid! Oh, great. Well, 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 well. This is not what I expected. But at least it seems like they're going to the iron farm? Uh, get him, dogs! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Ah! Uh, mm, do 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 do. Okay. Uh, wait one. Not too bad. Not too bad. One left. Okay. Where are you? Uh, it's nighttime. We should also probably sleep. And find this last guy in a moment. <laughs> oh dear. All right, well, welcome to the first raid in this world. I uh, need to find this last guy. Go away, spider. Uh, no! <laughs> now I'm hungry and on fire. Fabulous. Okay, where is this last dude? Because I need to find him. I'm assuming he's going to be somewhere close to the villagers, which are over here. In a way, I'm kind of surprised I haven't started a raid so far already. <laughs> Alright, dude. Where are you? I need to find you. Skeleton. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, let's check around this area. Unless he's over by... The two villagers. Oh, I hear one. Where are you? Where are you, dude? Aha! There you are. 
All right, well, Emerald. All right, eat up, eat up, eat up. And then I get to figure out where they're coming from next. <laughs> okay, good. Got my doggos. They're in good. They're in good shape. Okay. Oh, they're over there. Oh, they were quite a ways away. All right. Well, having an enclosed location with the uh, villagers will actually be a huge help. Go away, zombie. Nobody wants you. All right. <laughs> All right, get rid of the distance fighters first. All right. Oh, look, an emerald. Gimme, gimme. That's mine. Yeah, no. And you go away. Oh, oh, don't hit the dog. Don't hit the dog. All right, where next? Kind me. Okay. Ish, I think. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Oh, and there's a Ravager! There's a Ravager! Alright, doggos. Get him! Get him! Oh, no! Oh, <gasps> no! Kitty! Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry! Uh, no! <laughs> okay. Big guy! Big guy! <laughs> Yeah, we are running, 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 running. Ah, no. <laughs> ah, dogs, can you get them? Oh dear, I am not doing well. I am very much not doing well. Okay, well, I may have to retreat to safe spots. <laughs> ah, doo -doo -doo -doo. At least I can take out this guy. Okay, so I just have the Ravager and one more. Okay, we can do this. We got this. Eat, 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 eat. Oh my goodness, I'm glad I had plenty of food in my hot bar. Okay, you. Big smelly dude. Oh, no, puppy. Um, puppy. Okay, run. Hey, kitty. Hi, I love you. Give me a minute. Okay, phew, okay. We got a saddle for that one. Um, priorities, priorities. I will find that last dude in a minute. Uh, oh no, I moved too quickly. Need kitty. I love you. Hi. Yep, we are not in imminent danger at all. No, puppy! <clears throat> Alright, come here, kitty. Puppy, if you move me out of the way. I love you! Hi! Oh, there you are! Okay! Ooh, okay, priorities are straightened out. And... There we go! And we get some glowstone for our troubles. Perfect! All right, next wave of fun. <laughs> Again, I'm surprised I haven't triggered a raid before then, before this. That way. Ah! Oh no, oh no. <laughs> well, this is gonna be fun. No, oh, stay away from my kitties. Oh my goodness, this is the worst. It's the absolute worst. Puppies, take care of them. I will protect you in a minute. I know, I know, puppy. Uh, that and food. 
Which of you needs food? You need food, big time. Big time food. All food. Alright. No, no. We are going to stay out of that area. Kill the witch. Come here, witch. Mm, why are you so hard to hit? <laughs> Get him, doggies. Get him. Go. Oh, good work. Good work. She gave me a stick for all my trouble, of course. Yep. Okay, so these will be the last two. I will take care of the witch. No, don't touch my dogs. Don't touch my dogs. Okay, puppies all good. Puppies all good. Good. That kitty's still there. Don't go anywhere near them. Okay, good. You're still on the other side of the river. No, you. You. You need to die right now. Are there any other of you? Okay. Fortunately, it looks like there was just the one evoker. Hopefully that stays the case. Because the vexes are going to be the absolute worst thing ever. Okay. Fortunately, the river is working in our favor. Witch. And... Witch. Okay, I think this will be maybe the last... <gasps> Ooh, I got one of those. Splendid. That could come in handy in the future. Okay, I will get that saddle later. Uh, I don't need you. This way? Ah, rats! I don't know! I don't know where they came from! I don't like it, it's scary! Oh, okay, go over here! Good, 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 good! Evokers? Need to get rid of evokers first! You! Ah! Yes! Okay, good! Can't hit my dogs. You. You. And these two. Oh, how rude. I'll let my dogs finish you off while I collect this. Yay! Oh, there's more. Why is there more? There can't be more. No, <laughs> please. Ah! Dog check! Dog check! You good? You good? You good? How's your tails? You're good? Oh my goodness! No! Okay, we have to go look for the evoker. Which is you! <laughs> oh my goodness, no! <laughs> no, 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 no! No! I need that evoker! I need him, I need him dead! I need you dead! I just need the evoker dead. I don't care. Oh no! Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Okay, I know what I need to do. I need to get that. Ah! <laughs> uh, totem. You. You need to die. Oh, this is bad! This is bad! Okay, there's one more. Ah! Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I need to find him. I need to find him. Where is he? Did I kill him? Oh dear, oh dear. 
There's still evokers going around. I don't like it. Oh gosh, this is this is terrible. This is terrible. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to check my iron farm after this. Oh, this is the worst. Well, this is fun. <laughs> Although, if we're being completely honest, this is the, probably the most challenge I've had all season. Now, go wait. <laughs> no, go away, Vex. Go away, Vex. Okay, hopefully the Vex will let me sleep. Just need to sleep through the night. <laughs> and yes! <laughs> and then we finish the raid. Just in case. Man, I feel so bad for my dogs and my cats and everything. I've made a horrible mistake. Get. Mm. Uh. <laughs> okay, well, time to clean up rest. Okay. Uh, priorities. And not that way. Wait, is there still? Oh, no. No. Oh, gosh. This is the worst. This is the absolute worst. Oh. Hmm. This is going to take some serious cleanup. Ooh, the emeralds. Okay, well... I gotta, I gotta get those... Ah, no! <laughs> Why do the Ravagers have such a long reach? Ah. This is by far all the bad things. Okay, kill the witches. Oh gosh, these vexes are just going to murder everything. Kill the Ravagers. No! 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 Ugh. You dead yet? You dead yet? Oh gosh. Ugh. Why did I get lit on fire? This, this is bad. <laughs> this is the worst. Okay, and let's... Alright, I got one left. I hope you are the last one. There's two left. Why are there two left? Okay, so you... Not a problem. Because you cannot swim. Here. Somehow that didn't strike me as very heroic. <laughs> oh, well, that's over. <laughs> and we only went through two totems of undying. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, uh... Alright. Time for a, uh, a check. How are my villagers doing? Did any of them die? That's... Still good? Three in there. Three there. Three there. Three there. Okay, we're good there. Then... Let's see if we can get onto this platform. Whew. Three. 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 Oh my goodness! Oh, thank heavens that they didn't get my villagers. If I die, that's one thing. If my villagers die, it's quite another. Oh, my poor sweet kitties. All my fault. But, okay, at least, at least the majority of your cats are safe. I was actually just thinking recently that that's a really terrible spot to keep all of them. So, yep, we are going to move them to safety as well as find, yeah, get a new, get a new family for this little guy. Sorry. Well, I figured that since I am the hero of the village, I might as well try and take advantage of that. And since I don't have a village or trading hall, I'm using my iron farm. <laughs> Excuse me. So I already managed to get a bunch of things from the toolsmiths over there. So even though these aren't great, it's a diamonds that I don't have to spend on tools. So I got a bunch of shovels already, uh, a few axes and some pickaxes. Uh, these are what I had to trade for. So I don't want them. And these were gifts for, uh, for saving them from the scourge of raid. So uh, we are over here with the armorers now, and I'm just kind of curious to see what I can get from them. So let's, let's take a look. All right, what's next? Ah, ants! Ooh, that's actually not terrible. Projectile protection? Unbreaking? Yeah, we'll take that. Oh. Oh, I thank you, good sir. You just threw me a chainmail helmet. Haha, <laughs> being a hero has its perks. So while I'm doing this, I might as well go over today's Tell Me a Time win. And today is going to be Stina's comment, my good friend Stina Rose, and she asked me to tell her a time when being a twin was an advantage. So in case some of you don't know, which a lot of you probably don't, I have a twin sister. And yeah, we are two minutes apart and we are, we, we ha yeah, we've actually grown to be a little bit more similar over the, over the years, I believe. At least that's kind of how, how things have seemed to go. Um, but yeah, uh, actually all of my siblings are pretty close, we're all pretty close in age. And in a way that was kind of nice because it allows you to be able to spend time with people that understand kind of the age that you're in. Um, you can, it's a lot easier to play together and um, be able to kind of support one another. We knew a lot of the same teachers, a lot of the same kids, and so it was easy for us to know who we were talking about. Um, but as far as having a twin, it was also kind of nice to know that you weren't alone when it came to certain things. Like, even though we were very different, we had, we were in different classes and had, you know, different activities that we tended to do, even though we didn't necessarily run in the same circles, it was nice to be able to have somebody that understood where you were and how things were going, and to have somebody that's really on your side. Oh, I guess another thing that, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I would consider it an advantage, some people might, it's come in handy sometimes, um, is that when we were little and we were in the same room, my sister used to like to listen to music while she, uh, while we slept, and I kind of helped her fall asleep or whatnot. I liked it to be quiet, but that was just me. And I still kind of like it to be quiet, but uh, the fact that she had music on, and this was in the 90s, means that I actually learned the lyrics to quite a number of 90s songs just because they would be playing at night. <laughs> so, kind of one of those learn by osmosis kind of things. And, you know, not necessarily the, the most impressive uh, benefit, but at the same time, it was kind of funny, and at least I get some of the, the song references and whatnot, so... <laughs> Not entirely hope. But yeah, so... 
I'm, I'm very thankful for, for my twin sister. And it's kind of fun seeing where we both ended up, and I love spending time with her. I really do. Oh, and I drove the village. Oh, well, that's okay. We're still getting stuff. Yeah, so thank you for, for that idea, Stina. Kind of fun to think about. I love my sister so much. She's wonderful. Okay, and we have a ceiling. I might go in and put some trapdoors over the low stone. Uh, but I wanted it to be lit up a bit. And now that I think of it, maybe I'll put some uh, glazed terracotta like towards the center as well, just to make things a little bit more more interesting. I like being able to enjoy the ceiling as well. I mean, we probably won't spend a ton of time staring at the ceiling because we're going to be spending all our time staring at these pretty kitties, which I also realized, oh yeah, that I don't have the calico in there because I didn't have enough calicos. I'm trying to have at least three of each cat, so at least two in here and at least one more out here. So, we are making kitties. Yay, I love you all. Mm, yes. So we're gonna go ahead and find places for the calicos as well. Uh, but for now, I think that is probably going to do it. I wasn't expecting to do the raid today, but it is what it is, and we actually ended up getting through it without, well, I guess, without too much trouble. <laughs> I only had to use two uh, totems of undying, but yeah, so uh, we are going to go ahead and end that there. I'm just going to stop up here where basically where I started and wish you all a lovely day. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this episode, please go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're enjoying this series, please go ahead and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. And also uh, feel free to leave me a comment as well. Um, if you have any more ideas uh, for uh, Tell Me a Time When, I'd love to hear them. And yeah, if you have any other ideas, comments, questions, uh, jokes, all any of any of the above, let me know. And again, thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a lovely day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!